Hi everybody, it's Jackie Duran, your Cincy Consultant. Today I thought I would do a fun video because, well, you know, this is what I do. I am your Cincy gal, right? As your Cincy gal, it is my duty to sit here and make sure that I'm testing out these scents for you. Come on, it's called quality control, people. That's what I do. This is what I do every single day. I'm testing a scent for you to make sure that you're going to love it. So today, um, I am pulling, because of course, you guys know, because of course you're following me on social media, you know that the brand new Spring Summer Catalog has come out. And you guys know that we have some amazing new scents. Oh my gosh. So I don't know if some of you have placed your orders already. I know you have because you placed them through me. Thank you. And I hope that you're enjoying them. Well, I know the majority of you are because I've already talked to you. Um, but if you have not yet placed your order for these new scents, then this is a great video for you because I'm talking directly to you. And for those of you maybe who just went back to your regular comfort zone favorite scents, I'm going to challenge you to go out of the box a little bit and maybe take a look at some of these brand new scents that were just released this month. So I'm going to start, I'm going to do this wonderful six pack. Okay. This is, these scents here are Jackie's approved initial new scent six pack. Yep. It's official. I'll make up a little graphic so you can remember, remember which ones I'm putting in, but, um, these are Jackie approved. First up, because this one and the next one are tied for my number one spot in my heart. That's my Scentsy heart. And they have a number one tying spot. So, first up is Coconut Cotton. Coconut Cotton. Come on now, people. It is Coconut Milk, um, White Sandalwood. I am a sandalwood sucker. I love sandalwood. So if you put, Scentsy people, if you put sandalwood in the description, I'm buying it. Anyway, coconut cotton it was one of the very first ones that I warmed. And this is why it's probably, it's tying currently for my number one spot in my heart. Oh, it's fresh. It's beautiful. It's amazing that coconut milk is obviously right on point. It's our scent trend for the year. Um, but it's fabulous. So you have to try that one. Next up, like I said, the first two were tying for my number one spot in my Scentsy Heart, Bonfire Beach. You can see that there's two cubes missing. There's no cubes missing in this one. You want to know why? Because I've already warmed one entire bar. That's how much I loved it. I put it like throughout the entire house. Uh, truly tested. <laughs> Bonfire Beach, again, so there's only two cubes missing because this is my second bar. <laughs> Uh, but Bonfire Beach, uh, the description on this one is toasted marshmallows over white flint and sandalwood. There you go. So, since he got me again with the sandalwood. This one, though, oh, I could truly put this in any room in my entire home and I would be a happy, happy gal. Because this one, I initially put it in my bedroom. And I thought, oh, this will be great. It smells a little relaxing. I'll put it in there. And I just loved it. I didn't even want to leave the bedroom. So I was like, okay, I've got to bring it out into the living room. And so I did. And there you have it. History was made. Oh, adore it. Okay. Next up is Blonde Wood and Moonflower. Now, this one was a little iffy for me um, when I smelled it in the tester. But, you know, you know me. I'm an official scent tester, that's what I do. So I buy it and I warm it. This one has amber with moonflower, white roses, and lilies. So that's why I was a little hesitant because I'm not a super floral scent gal. Um, but it intrigued me and so it did. Oh my goodness, you see how much I warmed of this one? Yeah, yeah, I like this one a lot. Uh, and this is only the first bar, so there will be more to come. So that's a good one. It is a relaxing one. Great for the bedroom. Next up, Bamboo Yuzu. I did try this one out over the weekend. I was very, very curious to try this one. And Bamboo Yuzu is, it's very uh, earthy, earthy because it has, uh, let me see here, uh, bamboo, lotus flower, 
with yuzu and hints of sage. So that's where that earthiness comes from. And it, so it truly is, I call it like a rustic scent. Oh, and I really, really like it. The one thing, the one thing, if I could change one thing about this, is that it could be kicked up like two more notches to be that much stronger. Because I did love it, but I am a lover of the really strong scents. I want to put in a scent and I want it to completely fill my room. Um, I, I, that's just how I like my scentsy. Um, so this one, like I said, I love it. I just wish it was a touch stronger, uh, but... I'll still warm it and I'll still buy it again because that's how much I loved it. This one, OMG, I warmed this one yesterday for the first time. Fresh Cut Daisies. And I even did a little short Instagram video on it because that's how much I liked it. Um, it was beautiful over the weekend. It was, we had all the windows open in the house. I wanted something fresh and clean and new, right? To warm, to match that amazing outdoor weather we had. So I threw this in there. Fresh cut daisies, if you don't get enough from the description, freshly cut grass and clover with daisies, buttercups, and ivy. So that's exactly what it smells like. Fresh cut, I mean, this is spring right here in one bar. This spring, if you could capture spring in a scent, they did it since he did it. Kudos. Amazing. Next up, sea sun and fun. Another one that I was a little hesitant on because the description is an or um, a splash of salt water and orange twist scattered lily petals and rays of sunny amber so it was a, just like a little iffy but had to get it because I had to try it uh, and I do like it it's a it, it says it even has it in the name fun it's a fun scent it truly is I like it and you can see from this cube like right here uh, see how it's uh, corrugated like that um, I've actually been putting it in samples that I've been meeting customers over the last couple of days with, and they all have immediately put in an order as soon as they've tried their sample. So if that tells you anything right there, it's not just me. I mean, even though I'm a good tester, uh, everybody else loves it too. So <laughs> just saying. So here you go. This is the initial first six pack that if you were a Scentsy lover, these are the initial six that Jackie says you should buy and you should warm and you should put in your super secret Scentsy stash uh, because this is what is in mine. Um, I will list all those out. The next six pack that we're going to do, it's a mixture. So we've got a combo going on. So these are for you guys out there who love our returning scents and maybe want to try a couple more. Okay. This is Jackie's secondary six pack that I suggest you try. So it's got three new scents, three returning favorites. First up in the new scents category is Mystic Magnolia. Um, this one is flirty green leaves, sultry notes of rosewood and amber. It sounds very, Lily likes it. She, I think she really wants me to warm this one. Uh, and this is part of the second six pack, um, on my, I think you should buy list because I haven't yet warmed it. So I can't say I have officially tested it yet because I haven't officially warmed it but it's next on my list to warm. So that's why it's in this stack. Mm, it does have some floral and it does the amber in there and maybe it's the rosewood as well, but it, it does have like that romantic scent to it. If that makes any sense whatsoever, it does to me. Um, next is my only sunshine because you guys are my only sunshine. Everybody has to have a happy scent. Uh, my only sunshine um, is described with having golden turbose, jasmine, sandalwood, vanilla, and glowing amber. So there, there was the key word, right? Did you catch it? Sandalwood went on my list. So my only sunshine, my only fear with this one, which is why I have not yet warmed it, is because it smells very light and I'm really worried I'm going to put it in my warmers and it's just going to be so light and subdued and I'm going to want it to be stronger. But my job to actually test it and warm it so this one's on the list for this week to be warmed so um but i really truly think that you'll want to give it a try because it has been a favorite so far in my orders poppy and blush suede is the third one from our new releases category this one has honeysuckle masculine blush suede plum blossoms and white musk so it, it was very intriguing when i read it knew i had to grab it for my super secret sensi stash 
Oh, and you really, really, really smell the suede in this. So um, for you Scentsy lovers out there who lost vanilla suede because it was discontinued last catalog, sad moment, um, this is going to be your next in line for the suede smell, okay? I will say um, I am a huge lover of our, what we call our Easter egg scent in Scentsy. It's called Weathered Leather. And I call it our Easter egg scent simply because it's not going to be in any book, okay? But it is still available, and it is available in bar, circle, and room spray. And what I love about weathered leather is that it truly smells like leather. So this one, this is why you see I have, I always have at least one, uh, if not many more, of this in scent circle. Because I use this in my car. This is like my go-to car scent, right? So probably about a month or two ago. I thought, you know what, I've been using this in the car so much, I'm really curious. I have never actually worn this bar. So I bought a bar and I put it in and I put it in my living room and I will tell you, we have um, a leather couch, a recliner, and then like a chip, like a, I don't know, sitting chair, whatever you want to call it, in our living room. I warm that bar, <laughs> freaked my whole family out because they walked in, my son and <laughs> my husband, they walked in, they were like, did you buy something? And I'm like, no. We had people coming over and they were like, did you get any furniture? No. It just happens to be my Scentsy. That is how strong it smelled of leather. So I'm really hoping that the Poppy and Blush Suede continues on with that same type of reaction. So I'm very curious to try that one. All right. So here we go into the next three. These are what, what um, I'm referring to as our returning favorites because they really are. They're in the spring and summer section of your book. If you're taking a look there, Yuzu Dragon is what's up first. And this one I love because it's very tropical. It's got guava honeysuckle or honey. I'm sorry. Honeyed nectarine, dragon fruit, and yuzu. So it's very tropical. It is perfect for spring and summer, and it's one of my favorites, so I'm excited. Okay, next one. One of my absolute favorites is Kahika Hula. Oh my gosh, guys, Kahika Hula is fantastic. If you've never tried it, this is very tropical. Passion fruit, mango, papaya. Mmm. I have tons of it every spring and summer. Last one is Lush Gardenia, and this one is for my flower folks, because this one is truly floral. It is gardenia with a little bit of turbo, so it's toned down just a touch. Mmm, but here's your fresh floral smell. So there is the second six pack that you will need to buy for your super secret Cincy Stash. So there you have it, guys. Number one. And number two of the six packs that you need to have in your super secret Sensei Sash. This is Jackie. I will list those below for you so you have them. Take care and I will talk to you soon.